things here. Um, one of my favorite shipyards by far. And uh, when I left Seattle after about another two and a half years there, we, uh, I took a little small break to come home because my dad had gotten sick and then I moved on to Florida. Uh, I worked for a company called Eastern Shipbuilding. And Eastern has quite a few different ships going on there. They just landed a huge, like I think $14 billion OPC assignment with the Coast Guard. They also have shipping container ships there. They got oil fields. This is one of the launches I watched happen while I was there. Um, and they have, uh, let's see, they got oil tankers and ship, uh, yeah, oil tankers. And, <laughs> and uh, the, they just started the OPC contract. So I was there for a little bit, changed the directions a little bit more after that. I said, you know what? These guys aren't doing anything that I can do. So this is what kind of led to my decision to start Point Engineering and Employment Network. Uh, after my small work, my small stint here. So, uh, and again, this is Candace Bale, you know, I'm from the projects. This is where I grew up. The, the, the world tells me that this is not something I'm supposed to be able to be a part of, but yet I'm here. So, I had a point to prove at that given time. So, Quinn Engineering is now officially a, a uh, U.S. vendor. We are registered at the Pentagon. I have to get a facility security clearance. I have been cleared through the Department of Defense uh, to handle uh, confidential materials, et cetera. And um, so it's been one of our models to get started. We actually had uh, our first contract we landed here, I'm saying we, but it's really just me, but <laughs> uh, was with a company in Lorain County called Nesco. And he's a naval architectural firm there. He's handling about 17 projects up there. So huge, huge, huge. And he was my first, this was the ship that I worked on and we did an overhaul here for him. And uh, that was my first contract that I landed. So I'm just saying to you, just be encouraged on this day. Know that you're gonna face some challenges. Go hard or go home. I tell you what, and it's, it's funny because my son has watched me do this now for, well, he, he's 19 now, he just joined in the Army. And um, that's my baby there. So, uh, but success was one of the first words that I taught him to spell as well. Be encouraged and know that challenges are gonna come. You're gonna face them. Sometimes you're not gonna do so great at it, but. Uh, it is your responsibility and you have the encouraging word from me to you that you can make it if I can. That's my time. Thank you guys for listening.